Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show, be showing you how to rebuild or like change out your fuel injector components. And this is a 95 Ford Mustang 5.0, and this video will work about for any um, vehicle that has Bosch style injectors. And I'll, once I take them out, I'll show you. And if those are compatible, mostly some Ford and GM and other um, car manufacturers have them, but mostly Fords have them from about the mid 80s to about 2010 and the EV1 style in injectors Bosch style and for this Mustang what you're, to get to the injector and the fuel rails you're, you're gonna have to first take off the stroke bar stroke tower brace your air intake assembly the upper intake manifold and by that you're gonna have to be removing your EGR which is right there your throttle linkage to the throttle body some vacuum li vacuum lines you know the disconnect the fuel pressure regulator um right here the idle air control valve the throttle position sensor you're gonna have to take those out and before you start working on the um fuel system i'm a or anything you should um depressurize the fuel rail which that fader valve right there with the tire valve looking cap uh just pre put it down with a screwdriver but having a rag over it just to soak up the gas before you start working on any, anything or you could uh, take out the fuel pump relay or fuse and start crank the car and that will depressurize the fuel system just so you don't have uh, like a bunch of pressure when you take off an injector and it doesn't like go everywhere or to your face and pretty much that's it I'm gonna start taking off the strip strut tower brace and then going uh, back there to all the components back there working my way forward and then to the intake manifold. I have six bolts, two in the back, there's two under the 5.0 plaque right there and then there's two right here in the front and these fuel rails are held by I believe two 10 millimeter bolts on each side. Here are the injectors and I'm going and you, what you should do before is take video or a picture of how the injectors are clipped and they're positioned because in this side there's not anything that's change uh, like how would you say it there's n these injectors don't need to be clearance for anything over here there's just a wiring harness right here down here and on this side you have the fuel rail the electrical connector so you have to have the injectors at an angle for example this front one right here is um, facing towards the back and each injector is different so take a picture of each injector or a video and that's gonna get you um, an ideal start and area to start off with so that you know where how to put them back and here's my setup I'm gonna be working in my backyard with a light I'm gonna start disassembling this tonight um, I'm not going to get to the fuel injectors tonight, but I will be getting most of the stuff out of the way and working on it tomorrow morning, which I will continue to record. And again, I have the Bosch fuel injector rebuild kit from the injector shop. I made a video on that, so if you haven't checked it out, please make sure to check the other video. And I will get to you guys uh, as soon as I get done with this in the morning tomorrow. Thank you. Okay, so today's the morning of the next day, and I'm about to take off the fuel rails. There's um two bolts on each um, side of the engine that are eight millimeters. There's one around there, and they're on the same sides. So I'm gonna take those off, and I'm gonna end up pulling the fuel rails off, and then disconnecting the injectors one by one. Okay, so here I have the injectors taken out of the car. Um, I individually um placed them how they were when I took them off. So at the driver's side, I put a D. On the box, I made some holes. I put a P for the passenger side, front and back, and each one is um, the way they were on the car. And what the injector consists of is the filter that goes inside here, this um, brass looking piece. Then it has an upper O-ring. It has a spacer, this yellow piece right here, and another lower O-ring. And it has a pencil cap cover, which is in this kit that I got from the injector shop. The blue is the pencil cap cover, the yellow is the spacer, and the red O-rings are the ones where you um, change, swap those out, the black one and the this one on top too. And then this little black 
screens are the filters that go inside of here. So I'm gonna show you how to change them out right now. What I am using to take off the screen is a screw I found that fits perfectly in here, which I'm gonna screw in. Not a lot, but and then I'm gonna use some some pair of pliers, vice grips, to um wiggle it out. And for the pencil caps and the O-rings, if they're tough, I'm gonna use a razor blade. And to put them back on, to loop them up, I'm gonna use marble material, which I have in this Rain-X bottle. And that's how I'm gonna be doing it right now, and I'll get you guys a clip after I'm done with the filter part right now. So here's the filter taken out of this injector, and what I did was I just shoved this screw in and twisted it not even a quarter of a turn, and then just wiggled it back and forth in the injector, and then uh, put some pressure to pull it out, and it came out. So what I'm gonna do now is um, spray some carb cleaner in here, just to um, spray any debris that's in there out, and then I'm gonna head down to the bottom, and I'm gonna do this for each individual injector. So here's the new filter inside. Let me focus. And what I did was I grabbed this um, broken hammer I have. It has a flat side to it. You want something that's flat. And you just want to um, tap it in. Don't um, put too much pressure on it. Just until it's flush against uh, the surface right here. And pretty much that's what I did for the filter part. And I'm going to show you how I replaced the bottom right now. Okay, so here I'm done with... Okay, so here I am done with the injectors. As you can see, they look good now with the new parts on them I gave them a quick clean with the greaser on the body and I'm ready to put them on and I'm going to use marble machoria to loop the o-rings while I put them on and then I'm going to be putting on the connectors and then I'm going to bolt the fuel rails on and after that I'm going to run the the car on just turn the key to the on position to pressurize the system so we don't have any leaks somewhere and then that's um I'll come back to you guys later on so here it is running, I don't know if you can hear it over me, but so it's good, I'm going to let it run for 5 to 10 minutes, let it warm up fully and turn it off and then go on and turn it on again, let it run and make sure we don't have any leaks or any um, issues with a vacuum leak, uh, so we took off the manifold, if not, we might have a fuel injector leak, but that's why we're letting it run to know. Uh, I'll get back to you guys once it's actually done and we have a video of it driving. But right now I'm just going to let it run and hopefully, but here's the results, the fuel injector rebuild kit from the injector shop came out good, came out good, everything fit perfectly nice as long as um, you had the parts, I mean you could do anything at the tools, and well yeah, I mean, hopefully this car runs a bit better, gets better gas mileage. And hopefully this video helped you out. Make sure to like and subscribe and share with your friends. This video will help any Mustang or...